What's up guys? Welcome back in another video. Um, today something a bit special, it's gonna be a tutorial. I'm gonna show you a new feature of Betaflight 3.2, something that I really like and something that I wanted to have for a long time. It doesn't look like much, but it can help you a lot when you go out and fly, you are out of the field and you would like to change your camera settings and you don't have your, you know, little remote and basically you're gonna fly with the uh, crappy settings all day and um, yeah, so today I'm gonna show you how with the new version of Beta Flight to actually use your flight controller and your remote controller to change the settings of this camera and uh, it's something that you're gonna install permanently in your quad and so you're never gonna be in troubles anymore um, when you want to change the settings of your camera. So, I'm gonna quickly show you how it works. So I'm gonna record the DVR and um, then we're gonna go on the bench and I'm gonna show you how to actually wire up the thing on a run cam and a, a traditional HS777. And then we're gonna go on beta flight and I'm gonna uh, show you a screenshot and um, show you the CLI commands to enable this feature. All right, so let's do the DVR first. I'm gonna quickly plug this quad. All right. All right, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna have your two sticks centered and you're gonna yield to the right. That gives you the menu of your camera, like the usual stuff, but you're not using the remote, the little wired remote that gave you with the camera. You're actually using your remote controller, your goggles, and um, yeah, basically just one wire connected to the flight controller. So then it's, it works basically the same way. So you just uh, use um, pitch to go up and down. You use uh, yo to the right to actually go to, to do like the enter button, like when you press the button. And to change value, you actually use roll to the right or to the left. So here I'm changing the brightness. And yeah, basically that's all it is. So it doesn't look like much, but it's actually something really, really useful. Um, I mean, I don't know about you, but me, I always carry this uh, little remote that you have to plug at the back of your camera. But the thing is I have uh, Foxier cameras, I got uh, no name HS 1177 cameras, I got Runcan cameras. They use different connectors. Uh, actually, the Foxier and HS 1177 are a pain in the ass to actually wire up. Uh, the good side of Runcam is that it's a separated plug, um, but still, it's really hard to reach this plug. So, actually, Runcam made a sort of extension wire, but I keep losing it. Um, so, yeah, that was not ideal. and. Ideally, you would have to change the settings of your camera. So I think this is really, really amazing uh, to be able to do that with Betaflight 3.2 now. So now let's go to the bench. I'll show you what you need to do it. It's really easy. Uh, I think most flight controllers can do it. And then we'll go on the computer and uh, just uh, enable this feature. All right, let's do it. All right, so we're now on the bench and we got a mini quad here and we got two cameras with the remotes and a couple of resistors and a little wire for the run cam. So I'm going to show you how to wire this up using a run cam. We could do the same thing with an HS1177. Um, basically, you would need to use the white wire provided with this um, little remote thing. Use the white wire the same way as we are gonna use the blue wire on this thing. All right, so let's get started. So what I have here is my quad and I'm gonna use um, so this little guy here, yeah. And I'm going to remove the black wire because we don't need it and I'm just going to use the blue wire. Leave the blue wire on this connector just here. 
So to do this, it's pretty easy. We just need to remove. Black wire using something a bit sharp. Yep, like so. It's done. And then we're gonna cut the blue wire. So my camera is gonna be around here. I want this blue wire to go all the way down here so it's going to be too short so we're going to have to extend the wire of course that's all right we can do that all right so i cut the wire i'm going to extend it and i'll come back Alright, wire is extended, so now we are good to go with this. Alright, so to be able to actually use um, this wire and connect it to the flight controller on your mini quad, you need also a resistor. So this resistor... So this one that I have is actually too big, uh, it's like a 1 watt resistor, but um, uh, it doesn't matter, actually too big is not a big problem. But what is really important about this resistor is that it, it needs to be between 400 and 600 ohms. So this one is uh, 470, should be perfect. You're gonna need to find on your con your flight controller the place where to actually connect this resistor and this wire. And um, my flight controller is an Omnibus F3, and I'm gonna use. I could use a lot of different things, like for example one of the four extra motor output, or I could use also the. Um, the signal pad for the LEDs and that's what I'm gonna use today because I tried it before and it worked the way you would wire this up is pretty easy You're gonna bend uh, the little resistor cut one leg shorter and then you would connect resistor to the wire like so all right so we need to cut this wire it's too long cut this resistor leg too and um, yeah I'm gonna wire this up I need the pliers so I'm just gonna connect the resistor to the wire and then Solder this on the flight controller. That should be pretty easy to do. This is done. Yeah, now I'm just going to connect this to the flight controller, basically. Alright, so everything's wired up. Now we're going to go on the computer and we're going to see how to enable the, the, this uh, feature, it's pretty easy, and then we're gonna see if it works. Alright, so first thing I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to flash uh, Betaflight 3.2 to this board, um, so that's pretty easy to do, you just have to open uh, Betaflight, go in firmware flasher, make sure you got the show up unstable releases checked and uh, so my board is an omnibus and I'm gonna choose the last version 
3.2 RC4 load firmware and uh, yeah basically it's gonna download this version and then I'm gonna have to just um, press flash firmware the board is rebooting erases everything and then uh, it's gonna flash the new version of Peter Flight. All right, flashing is done. So now I should be able to connect to this board. I'm gonna make sure we are in the right version. Version, Peter Flight, Omnibus 3.2. All right, so we're good to go. <clears throat> so now the thing we need to do, so I just remind you, we actually um, connected this OSD wire of the camera for the settings of the camera to the LED port on our flight controller. So we need to remap the feature. So actually remove the LED feature and put the camera control feature on this port. So to do that, it's pretty easy. We're gonna go in the CLI and we're gonna type resource gonna give us a list of resources and um, everything that deals with LED so we got resource LED strip 1 on A08 we have resource LED 1 on B03 and we also have transponder 1 on A08 so I think we don't have to worry about LED 1 on B03 and we have to actually disable LED strip 1, disable transponder 1 and then assign our new feature to A08. So that's what I'm going to do. To, in that, to disable the feature you just have to type resource, the name of the feature, here it's LED dash strip 1 and none. So that will disable, that will free up the port A08, but apparently there's two ports on this, uh, two features on this port for some reason. So I'm just gonna have to do the same thing for transponder one. Transponder one, resource transponder one, none. Alright, so now A08 is free, and I'm just gonna have to type resource camera dash control A08 and enter save enter the board is rebooting and now we should be uh, good to go and uh, yeah that's pretty much it now we're gonna verify it's working on the quad all right so now finish setting up the, the OSD and everything if I plug my quadcopter in I should be able to change the settings of the camera using my controller. TVR is recording, it's all good. And it works! Woohoo! Alright. Alright, so that's all for today, guys. Um, I hope uh, it's gonna help some of you. I mean, you should give it a try. Literally, it costs nothing. You probably have everything already. I mean, if you don't have this resistor, uh, it's probably gonna cost you 10 cents to buy one. So you should definitely give it a go. Uh, the little connector to go at the back of your camera, you probably already have it. You, you received it when you bought the camera or something. I guess you, there's definitely something you can do. Um, so yeah, give it a try. Try Peter Flight 3.2. That's not the only feature you can find that is new in Peter Flight 3.2. There's a lot of them, and they are pretty good. Um, the most famous one is uh, dynamic filters. That's pretty sweet. Um, you also have another sort of hidden feature that you can use. It's called anti turtle mode. So we're gonna play with that later. Yeah, another thing that, I don't know if you noticed on the, the OSD, but another thing you can use is uh, the on the OSD, you can have the 
frequency and the power of output of your VTX um, displayed on the OSD, which can be can be can be useful for the people watching you if they use Smart Search and they want to know the channel. I don't know. Uh, that can be that can be a good way to be sure you're on the right channel with your goggles. Um, so yeah, play with uh, Betafly 3.2. It's um, it's really cool, and this feature is awesome. And uh, nowadays, no excuses to not be able to uh, fly at night or fly in hard light conditions and stuff. So yeah, you should definitely do it. it doesn't take a long time to to do it. So yeah, uh, give it a go. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.